Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, GamerPro X here, and guys, welcome back to Among the Kingdoms. This is episode 18, and guys, in the last episode, we worked on the wall that is going to defend Everwood Valley from the Raiders. And in today's episode, we are going to be doing a few things. I want to build the Watchtower. Uh, we, we planned it out already. It's actually laid out right here. And we're going to be building that in today's episode. But that's not all we're going to be doing. We're also going to be going on a mining trip because we desperately need um, diamonds. I had to make a new axe and shovel off camera because I've been working on some terraforming and we only have four left. So we're going to be going caving as well. And we're also going to harvest all the crops because they need harvested so that we can get more in the future. So we're going to start things off, I feel, with building the watchtower. I designed it in the creative version of the world. I think it looks pretty good. Also, over here, I started some terraforming, and I don't want you guys to feel left out. So up on the top left side of the video screen, you're going to see a little sped up version of me doing some of the terraforming process over there. So that you guys don't feel left out when I do stuff off camera. So I'm going to go ahead and get a few things ready. And when I get back, we're going to start building this watchtower. Alrighty guys, I figured that I would show you some of the stuff that we need to get. So, we need to get um, a ton of spruce wood. And the reason for it is because I kind of went overboard with the trap doors on this build. And you need about 900. <laughs> so, we're going to do that. We're also going to get some cobblestone stairs and stuff. So, let's go ahead and grab some cobblestone. And we're going to do that. And we're also going to need a little bit of nether quartz which looks like we might not have much which could be problematic we might have to go to the nether real quick to get some sadly but that's pretty much all we need we also need a little bit of glowstone so i guess we do need to go to the nether because i don't think we have much glowstone dust so we're gonna have to go to the nether but that's okay because i we need to go in there anyways I can't wait for the nether update because we're going to be building some pretty cool stuff in there in the future once that comes out. Let's go over here real quick and see if we have any nether quartz. I think we might. Do we? We have quartz blocks. Can I reconvert those back into... Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay. We can just go to the nether and get the resources. It's no big deal. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. The reason we need these is because we're building the thingy over there. So, we're going to go ahead and get sidetracked. Let's go ahead and make some slabs and some stairs. And then we'll make this and then we'll just turn these real quick into some trap doors. Because we need a lot of them. Like, I, I went real overboard with trap doors and I kind of feel bad. But you know what? It's fine. Because it just adds detail. When in doubt, put trap doors. So I'm going to run into the nether real quick. Feels great to be in here. I, I love this build. It turned out really nice. What are you doing in here? Okay, you're, you're passive, so you're, you're not going to hurt me, right? Yes. Okay, we're going to go outside of the hub. Because we need nether quartz. Holy crap, this place is scary. And I don't have armor on. Um... Let's go up there real quick. Thank you. And yeah, let's snag some of this. Th ah, no. Run back to the hidey hole. Back to the hidey hole. Okay, you guys are kind of rude. Let's do this real quick. Um, I didn't think this through. Yet again, when do I think anything through? None of these videos are ever planned. Let's go ahead and eat this, and uh, let's uh, try to get some armor. That'd be beneficial, wouldn't it? Do I have anything in these chests? No? Okay. I mean, we have the iron, so let's go ahead and just make an iron set of armor really quick. So we're just going to do that, and this, this, and one of those. Cool. Go ahead and just throw those on and then go back to the nether. Here we are. While we're here, we might as well get some magma cream. You know, it, it's kind of useful. Thank you. Just just die. Thank you. Oop. Yeah. No. 
cool. Okay, we got them dead. Thank you. Now let's eat. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. The nether is just a, a very scary place. And it's going to get scarier once this new update comes out. But hopefully by the time the update comes out, we will have already killed the Ender Dragon, have an Elytra, and some other uh, bits and bobs that we can escape these crazies. Uh, I, I, it's, if, I don't know if you guys can tell. I don't like it here. Even if I was fully decked out with the best diamond armor and the best diamond tools, I don't like this place. It's very scary. It's easy to get lost and the gassed. Gasts. I hate them. I hate them very much. Don't like it here. Home. Home, 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 home. Bed. Alrighty, now that we have the nether quartz, I'm kind of stupid because we had blocks. So, yeah. But anyway, let's just make those stairs. Okay, now we need to go over here really quick and we're going to mark out some things now the whole thing right here isn't wood I just kinda that's what I had in my inventory when we marked it out so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna break this block this block this block this block just like so and one two three whoa, three four give me that back thank you alrighty now we're gonna do one two just like so and we're going to need to take some of these and go up. We're also going to need blocks because we're making a staircase. Just like so. Okay. Now we're going to place these like so. And we're going to go over. Break this. And then, nope, not that. We're going to take the wood. Thank you. Just like so. And this is going to mark out, I don't know why there's a stair there. That's not supposed to be a stair. Thank you. That's going to mark out the back wall of the structure. I'll fix that in a minute. And then we're going to go ahead, go over here. For the time being, let's just pretend that these nether rack blocks are glowstone and uh, move on with our lives. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to go one over take I'm looking at the picture I screenshotted the photo of the thing I made and we're going off of it so just kinda of bear with me for a few minutes we're gonna do this we're gonna put slab slab and then stair and then two more stairs like so and that is going to be part of the uh, the structure obviously so right here, we're going to get some andesite. Had to run for it. Now that we have the andesite, we can go ahead and place said blocks just like so. And this is all going to be covered up. We actually won't see any of the andesite once we're done with the build. This is just to be used as filler blocks. So we're going to go ahead and go up like so. And then do that. So we're going to do this on all of the sides actually so right here there's going to be another one of those and then there's going to be andesite just like so on the corner and then we're going to go up and like that so the andesite is actually going to be covered with the trap doors which is why we needed a ton of them because we're going to be doing this to pretty much everything if you see andesite, trapdoor gets put on it. And it even goes on the top as well. So we're going to just do this to all of the andesite real quick. And I fell just like so. And then we're going to do that again to all of the sides. But really quick, we can go ahead and take our cobblestone and fill in. That is off center. I will fix that. Much more like it. I accidentally uh, made it off center, so I had to fix that really quick. So we're going to go ahead, take all of our cobblestone, and we're going to fill this in. This is going to be the wall, obviously, just like so. And you'll actually, you will see a little bit of the andesite, but that just adds texture. The reason we're using andesite is mainly for filler, but also to do that as well. So we're going to go ahead and extend the slabs like so break this wood block and then do this and put another netherrack and we're using the netherrack as the glowstone because I don't have any right now and I'm terrified of the nether so we're going to use this for the time being 
but we're going to go ahead and do the andesite thing one more time and we're going to throw some trap doors on all of the andesite again we're going to fill in the cobblestone yet again so let's just go ahead and do that now we need to do some uh, trapdoor parkour real quick so that we can get up to the top because we're going to take some cobblestone stairs and we're just going to go ahead and do this to all of the sides like so and we'll get to that part in a moment uh, we, we don't have any of the parts built to do that yet but we're going to go ahead and do this and then right here we're going to take some cobblestone just like so and this will form the doorway for the build and then we're going to go ahead and just bring this all the way over and then go like that now right here we're going to have to tear out some of the stuff because we're going to have andesite right there so we're going to go ahead and do that and then we're going to take our cobblestone fill that in and we're going to take it and go up one more we're also going to break this block we're going to take a quick sleep real quick and get back to work alrighty now that we have this all planned out we can go ahead take our andesite and go up like so and this will allow us to do this uh, little pillar thing we're going to take this block out because there's going to be a stair there in its place, just like so. And then right here, we're going to take two stairs, place them down like so, and then we're going to take two slabs. And we're actually going to do the same thing to all the sides. We're just going to do this, and then we're going to take our slabs, and then two stairs. And we're going to repeat that to all these sides. Could have sworn I had enough cobblestone. Apparently not, so I'm going to go and get some. Really quickly, I messed up on some of the detail work on the outside. We need to get rid of these really fast because we're going to have stairs. I'm pretty much just repeating this right here, but I kind of screwed it up, so I'm going to fix it real quick. We're going to take our slabs and then our stairs. And if you guys see right there, that's the same thing that we're doing up here at the top as well. I just kind of didn't do it yet. So let's go ahead and go back up and finish placing our blocks. I'm going to have to use that real quick to get up. And we're going to go ahead and do that. Alrighty guys, now that we have all that stuff finished, we can go ahead and take our nether rack and we're going to just place them right here for temporary just so that we can get the build finished. And then off camera, I will go and get the glowstone. But those are going to be used obviously just to fill in for the glowstone in the time being. And we're going to take one more glowstone or glowstone block and it's going to go right there because we're going to take some of our wooden slabs and we're going to just bring them over right till there. And then we're going to do the same little pattern that we did over here with the stairs. So we're just going to go for it and we're going to do one, two, three, four, and then our stair. Then we're going to do two more stairs like so with our slabs like that and that will finish the design for this half and then we're going to tear this out and place it with that and then we're going to go one two three one yeah kind of well no it, that i'm confusing myself the glowstone doesn't go there it goes over here uh give me that back please thank you and it's going to go right here. So let's go ahead and place it there. Boom. Alrighty, now that we got that figured out, it, it kind of looked weird, but that's because I had a wood slab in front of it. We're going to go ahead and we're just going to fill in the rest of this. And that will actually finish the pedestal for the watchtower. Uh, actually, it won't. We need to do this. And it's going to go till right there. Yeah. And then we're going to take our trap doors yet again, and we're just going to place our trap doors like crazy people all over the place. And then we're going to do it up there as well. Alrighty, now we can take our spruce wood fences like so, and we're just going to do that. And here's the doorway. Now, we need to go and grab our white concrete, which I did not produce yet. I think we have some over here, though. Somewhere. No, we have the materials to make it, though. So let's go ahead and grab the sand and then I have to go get gravel from the base. But we need to make some white concrete because we're going to use some of that in the build as well. Let me go ahead and grab that really fast. Placing concrete powder is the best. 
Alrighty guys, now that we have the uh, concrete powder, let's go ahead and place it like so. Now we're going to do this all the way around on all the sides. And the reason for it is just, j just do it, okay? Alright, now we have this. What we're going to do now is we're going to take it up and we're going to go over and we're going to go over just like that. And then we're going to build it up. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Just like that. We're going to do that on all the sides. This is going to leave us space for a window right here. And we can do that on all the sides yet again because we're going to have windows on all the sides. And then we can just fill in all the blocks like so. And this is going to give the tower height. It's also going to give it a little bit of detail, which is what we want. I'm going to need more white concrete powder, but that's fine. So let's just do that. And I'm going to have to go down and grab some more. Alrighty guys, now that we have all that in place, we're going to go ahead and grab some of our spruce wood planks and we're going to take some of that real quick and we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. We're going to do this to all of the sides real quick. Just like that. And once I do that, I will get back to, actually I'm just going to do it right now. Why not? It's not going to take too much time. Let's just do this. Come on. Just like that. Okay, now that we have that, we're going to take our stairs, which we don't have a lot of, but that's okay because I can make a crafting table real quick. And we'll just do that and we'll make some stairs. We only need four. So we're going to go ahead, place one there, place one there there and right there so the reason why we needed the stairs there is it just adds a little bit of detail we're also going to put a spruce wood fence post not there come on ah you know what it's fine i'll just nerd pull up with the sand okay we're gonna place one there thank you and we're going to do that to all the corners as well. So let's just go ahead and do that, that, and that. And we'll break that in a moment. But we have this now. So we're going to take our trap doors, which we're going to need to make more. And we're just going to do that to all of these uh, spruce pillars. And then we're going to do it to these spruce pillars below the stairs that we just placed as well. So guys, I was not kidding when I said we needed a lot of spruce wood fence gates, or uh, trap doors. You'll see what I mean in just a moment. Alrighty guys, now while we're up here, we're going to take some of our materials. We're going to go two stairs like so that are upside down. We're also going to take trap doors and we're going to place them pretty much everywhere. Just follow my lead. So we're going to take trap door, trap door, trap door, trap door, trap door, trap door. Uh, put them right here as well. The reason why we're putting trap doors everywhere too is because it just adds that detail as I keep saying. But especially these trap doors, they add that little like metal bar looking like thing going across the material. It just makes it look really good. I like it. So we're going to go ahead and do that and we're going to do this to literally all the sides. It's going to take me quite a few minutes to do this and I should probably go take a sleep so I don't get sniped off of this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Bed. Also, since I'm right here, I'm going to grab some of the steak that I cooked earlier off camera. It's got way better saturation. Much better. Ooh, that guy's decked. Yeah, this is going to take quite some time. Am I proud of myself though? Yes, because I'm going to have the most detailed looking thing on the planet and I'm pretty excited about it. Alrighty guys, now that we've done all of the trap doors, and I literally went overboard, but you know, it's worth it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to place some slabs like so on top of these fences. 
and then we're going to raise these blocks up by one like so and then once we do that we're going to take some cobblestone stairs to finish off this level and the stairs just add a little bit of depth that's what we're going for in a way and then once we get those we're going to go ahead and we're going to take some of these spruce wood bark blocks and we're just going to extend the faces out on all of these planks that we just placed i don't have enough go figure all righty now that i have enough let's go ahead and finish placing these like so boom 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 and boom so the reason we place these is so that we can go ahead and take our concrete the whitest of all of the concretes one two three four and one two three four am i doing this right i don't feel like i'm doing it right nope make sure you place the concrete on them like so okay just like that and the stairs that we made earlier out of the quartz is about to come in handy so we're going to take them and we're going to hopefully do this the right way one two and three and we're going to do that to all these corners Alrighty, take some spruce wood planks fill in the remainder of this like so and then we can go ahead and fill in oh wow i see how it is if i don't pick this up it will be very sad it's okay we have this we're good Alrighty, now that we have this, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take some spruce wood uh, pillars, which we don't have. Alrighty, guys, now that I'm back, one, two, three, we're going to do this really quick because I am, my hands hurt. I've been sitting at this computer for a long time today. My hands are, did they just hurt? I think I'm starting to accumulate carpal tunnel, which wouldn't be fun. But, you know, it's fine. Let's just go ahead and place the remainder of the blocks like so and then we have to go through the nightmare of building the roof of this building that's gonna be fun uh the roof is simple but difficult to build without flight and i'm not looking forward to it so let's go ahead and just break these and then we're going to take the uh the thing that we don't have enough of but i can get later and we're just going to wrap the fences around and now the fun part let's go ahead and build the roof so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to do something like this we're going to need to get out our slabs and we're also going to need to get some stairs but you know it's fine um yeah let's go ahead and do that and then we're going to just uh, i don't know how i'm going to do this i need i need stairs and i don't have them Alrighty guys, I couldn't wrap my head around this on camera, so I had to do one section of it um, off camera so that I could kind of show you guys. I'm not going to do the rest of this on camera, I don't think, just because it's hard to commentate as is for me. So I'm going to finish building this. Uh, it, it's pretty simple. It kind of, you just, you start with the stairs wrapping around the pillar, and then you build the interior blocks so that you can get the arch shape uh once i'm done i will show you this whole build in its entirety i'm going to work on the interior stuff to get to the top of the observatory area uh off camera just because i want to get, keep the video going so i'm going to go ahead and finish the roof off camera real quick and then we're going to start our mining adventure Alrighty, guys i think i did pretty well on this build um, I built this in creative mode in the creative version of the world and just to see it come to life in the survival version of the world is just mind boggling that we're even able to do stuff like this. Um, in the future this is going to be replaced with the glowstone obviously because it's not supposed to be netherrack. I just didn't have the resources. But um, yeah I also got to put the, the fence up there uh, along the border for the railing but that's okay 
I don't really need that right now. I'm also going to work on the interior because I got some plans for the interior. We're going to have some like decorations with some like uh, armor stands or whatever. And then I have some plans for a basement area in this thing. And it's going to be like the observatory area with like a globe in the map of Everwood Valley. I think it's going to be pretty cool. But that is not all for today's episode. As I said earlier, we're going on a mining adventure. So I'm going to go ahead and clear out my inventory. And then we're going to go ahead and head out. And do an entire mining session. And I want you guys to tell me down below how many of every ore you think I'm going to do. Um, or do. How, however many I'm going to get. Uh, whether that's iron, coal, diamonds, emeralds, whatever. Just tell me down below how much you think I'm going to obtain. And I'll see you guys after the time lapse. Alrighty guys, and with literally no pickaxes left to spare, we made it home from our mining adventure, and I think we did pretty good. We went from 4 diamonds to 21 diamonds, we went from a little bit of coal to about over 4 stacks, or over 3 stacks I mean. Uh, we got a ton of redstone, ton of lapis, a lot of iron, it was abundant down there today. And we also got gold, we got 2 golden apples a mine car and a couple of rails from that man in mine shaft. I think we did pretty good. I'm I'm very satisfied with what we have done in today's video. Now actually this is a new day me recording this segment. So this has gone over the last 2 days, but we built this amazing looking watchtower and I'm going to replace that nether rack with the glowstone off camera and we also went mining. So, I think we've been pretty productive in today's episode. I'm going to call it quits here because I need to record episode uh, 19. I think this is episode 18. I don't remember. i got to record today's episode as well. So, if you like this video, hit the like button down below. It would be greatly appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, think about hitting the subscribe button and the notifications bell icon down below so that you can get notified for whenever I upload daily videos to the channel. And guys... 
with all this been said, we've been really productive, and I can't wait to see you guys on the next adventure. Bye bye